Anne's hand dredge in the mail, and I opened the box. Let's look inside and see what's in it. We got our tubing. It comes disassembled. Here is the actual pump, or the, the actual handle, the handle. <laughs> and then it comes with a bucket. And this is pretty cool because the lid actually screws on there nice and secure. So when you're using this, it doesn't pop off. We've got a bag full of goodies here. It looks like different nozzle attachments. And the most important piece, the actual pump. Oh, look, they give us a little, looks like a DVD of some sort called Goldman, Denver. I think this was a program back in the day, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, so let's get this thing put together. try to put this together. Uh, it came with a, a couple inserts. One is just like a, a welcome and it gives you some tips on how to store your pump and to keep it from cracking uh, with water inside. But then most importantly, here are the directions. So let's try to get this put together. And they give you nice pictures too, so that's good. All right, so the main part of the pump is this piece right here. But what we're going to work on right now is putting together the nozzles. And it comes with different attachments. You've got your pump and you want to, this goes on first. This is our gray piece and it's a connector. And it screws in right here. This. <laughs> Another way. <laughs> Righty tidy, lefty loosey. All right, so we got that screwed in. Uh, so now the different nozzles, if you just want to use this big classifier screen, you use this, this piece right here, right? Right? <laughs> Goes on the end. And this prevents large rocks from getting clogged up in there and works as a little classifier. So if you just want to use this, you could just put it in here, and that's how that piece works. Don't want to use that. Just the extender. Is that this piece? <laughs> oh, that goes here. Uh, this is if you want to just do, use an extension. You put this piece on the end. And then you can put this piece in here. And then you can use a different nozzle if you'd like. Uh, this one right here, I used a lot with my old one, but it has a little bar to prevent big rocks from going in there. That can go here. Now, if you don't want to use that one, let's use a dog here. <laughs> this one is probably the one I'll be using later today. Um, good for crevicing. Also has a little bar here. And this, I don't think fits with this, right? It goes, take the extender off. This can go in here. Like that. You see that? All right, so those are the different nozzle attachments. This piece right here is our handle, but it also has this cool looking leather. What would you call that? I don't know what that's called, but it needs to be soaked in water first so uh, it can expand and, and create like a good suction when, it, when it's inside. It fits inside here. And this big piece comes down. Like that. And then there are hose. The hose. <laughs> the hose connects on here. I think. And then the other part will go into the handle of the lid. 
which fits on top of the bucket. And then you can just secure that tightly. So when you're using the pump, the material goes, you have to have a little bit of water and it gets sucked up in here and goes into the bucket. Probably wondering what this hole is for, but uh, when I used this last year, it was kind of nice too because all the light stuff would kind of float out and then you would have all of the dark stuff in the, in the bucket. Okay, attached to the handle is two leather cups that are permanently affixed back to back. And what this does is it uh, expands when it's in, you know, moist. <laughs> And it creates a, a, a better suction when it's in the uh, chamber. Is that what it is? Okay, so it says for the first time, let me pull this back up again. You're going to want to soak it in hot water to remove the protective film that's on it. And they give you direct, good directions with, uh, with your pump if you do purchase one from Golden Sands. I guess completely submerge that in there. I think I need a better, better sink. Right? Kathleen showed us how to assemble and prepare the hand dredge for use, but let's take a quick look and see how it works. The hand dredge can be used in only an inch or two of water, but also completely submerged trying to get into those tiny little cracks and crevices gold likes to hide. When you pull up the handle, it'll suck up the water, material, and gold. The handle even allows excess water to escape out of the top. As you push the handle back down, the first valve will close, allowing the secondary valve to open and send all that material and water through the hose and into the collection bucket. You can check out their website at goldinsand.com for more details on the Xtreme Hybrid Pro. Thanks for watching and join us next time as we take the hand dredge out in the field and prospect for gold.